is this? Uh, yeah, it looks like it has the word skin in it, huh? The Nethal. Is that skin oh. or? <laughs> 500 indigenous languages were spoken in the U.S. before white settlers showed up. Today, there are just 80, and 80% of those have fewer than 100 speakers left. 20 languages remain in Alaska, and last year, the governor declared a linguistic emergency. Across the state, Alaskans are trying to bring those languages back from the brink of extinction. One crucial step, making a dictionary. Some of the last fluent speakers of Gwich'en are working on theirs. Honey, I was born speaking Gwich'en. We're developing this curriculum so that the kids will learn to speak which in. My name is Paul Williams. I hadn't said a shit to her. No, I didn't see. Go to get him. There's very few speakers left now, and we don't want to lose their language, so we have to pass it on to the younger kids. So, just quick announcements. Um, you guys will be doing some more of your word collection work today, but um, we'll get you guys started on the plan for today. Anybody under the age of 50, it's not spoken at all. My generation and younger were not really taught it, although we had what was technically called bilingual in school. It wasn't with any actual methodologies for actually producing language speakers. Can you count the five? Yes. I never got nine and ten. <laughs> if you look at communities where the language is mostly lost, you see a lot more social problems, suicides, substance abuse, sexual assault, all those kinds of things. A lot of those things come from being disconnected. They don't have that feeling of belonging. <laughs> Belonging is an incredibly powerful human emotion. Amen. The language situation in the United States, and Canada, and Australia is the worst of any place on the planet. There was a policy between 1870 and, and roughly 1950 of language eradication through these boarding schools where people were not just punished but even beaten or their mouths washed out with soap if they use their indigenous language. And that left a legacy of trauma and shame. They said, we can speak our language. They said, don't speak your language, you know, you are forbidden. You know, you're going to get spanking, you're going to beat you up. We're going to not give you food. You stay away from that wild food, wild fish. You stay away from that. Don't eat that, it's no good. The disease came and killed us. We killed all the chief. That's when they came and took us to school. We became theirs, you know. They said our native. I didn't like that word, it hurt me. It hurt me real bad. The elders take their verb list, they uh, go through them, and systematically through this computer program and accompany that particular transcription with a little audio recording of the speaker saying it. So if you say, you're already ready. Mm. He's already ready. Who wants to say this one? I want. Okay, Paul. Trile good eye. Trile good eye. Good. Uh-huh. And uh, once that's all completed, we can take that uh, information and package it for a dictionary or an app. There is a big push for native language to have a more prominent role in our daily lives in Alaska. One of the objectives is to produce curriculum content that can be incorporated into the academic system so that our students can connect to their culture and to their language. Some of our elders, for them, English is incredibly limited in describing the world that we inhabit. We get it. This is Kuke, and the snowbird is Kuke Ju. Oh, 
It's easy. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's like it's a crane. A crane. Ja. 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 Everything sounds so right when you're speaking your own language to someone that understands you. I want them to feel good about learning how to speak Quechua. Now is the time. When I see the kids, you know, when they say a few words like Nijitoncha, they have something in them that belongs to them. The Quechin Nation means a lot to me because by going by the title, our people will know that we are a nation. We have sovereign status. We have a right to live. We have a right to speak our language. <laughs> 